Hello. Hi, pwede ko ka ask? Yeah, sure. Um, do you believe that nature has its own patterns? Yes, of course. Look at this ho. So, a good pattern. Correct, actually. Yes, one ho. Here. One. 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 <laughs> Five. Hi, Rose. Hello. Um, wow, saan na na siya? Go watch ko Frozen. Kika ko miss ko akong child. True. Um, I have also a question again. Do you believe that nature has its own patterns? Yeah. I mean, okay. Since I'm watching Frozen, the snowflakes as an example of a pattern. Wow. Actually, prepared say mo ba? May ara ka. Uh, thank you. Thank you, everyone. Good day, everyone. I hope you had a good laugh because we certainly did. We're group one and we'll be talking about chapter one of nature's number, which is natural order. I hear that today we'll be discussing how interesting math is. I have to be honest though, if someone had told me years ago that math is interesting, amusing, and not boring, I would have been skeptical. I had grown up believing that math was tedious and dull subject and I couldn't imagine it being anything else. But after reading Ian Seward's Nature's Numbers, I've come to realize that math is so much more than just equations and formulas we learn in school. Now, let us all welcome our group mascots, Arthur and Lily, and let them explain exactly why. Hi everyone, I'm Arthur. Let's start. In the first chapter of his book, Stuart explains how the patterns and structures of mathematics can be used to explain the natural world around us. He describes how math can be used to understand the behavior of animals, the movement of the planets, and the structure of the universe. It is difficult not to notice the multitude of patterns in nature. Stripes on zebras and tigers, spots on leopards and hyenas, star movement across the sky, the shape of a snowflake, and even colored arcs of light adorning the sky in the form of rainbows all follow a pattern. Even flowers have petals arranged in Fibonacci numbers such as 5, 8, 13 and 21. When we observe human parts, we also see patterns, such as one trunk, one head, one heart, and pairs of arms, legs, eyes and ears. From these observations, we can conclude that we are either surrounded by patterns or make up the pattern. As Ian Stewart said, we live in a universe of pattern. We can appreciate the beauty of nature's patterns, with or without mathematical expertise, simply by looking around and getting creative. In addition to patterns of form, there are patterns of movement. One example of movement patterns is when humans walk, the feet strike the ground in a regular rhythm. The scuttling of insects, the flight of birds, the pulsations of jellyfish, and the wave-like motions of fish, worms, and snakes are all examples of patterns in locomotion. We are still learning to recognize new kinds of patterns. Only within the last 30 years has humanity become explicitly aware of the two types of patterns now known as fractals and chaos. Fractals are geometric shapes or waves that repeat their patterns while chaos is unpredictable. Some examples of fractals are trees and leaves, seashells, lightning, clouds, broccoli and snowflakes. The chaos theory, on the other hand, is perfectly illustrated by weather patterns. When the weather is close by, we can usually predict patterns fairly accurately, but as time goes on, more variables begin to affect the weather, making future predictions all but impossible. Now let's talk about numerology. It is the easiest and consequently the most dangerous method for finding patterns. It is easy because anybody can do it and dangerous for the same reason. The difficulty lies in distinguishing significant numerical patterns from accidental ones. There are also geometric patterns in addition to numerical patterns. Triangles, squares, pentagons, hexagons, circles, ellipses, spirals, cubes, spheres, cones, and so on, were the most popular shapes among mathematicians. In fact, this book really ought to have been called Nature's Numbers and Shape. All of these forms exist in nature. However, some are considerably more frequent or visible than others. It is important to take the time to observe and appreciate the beauty of mathematical stories that start with hints and infer underlying laws and regularities. This unique beauty applies to ideas rather than objects, and it can be incredibly useful in our everyday lives. By recognizing background patterns, we can identify exceptions that would have otherwise gone unnoticed. This newfound understanding of nature's secret regularities is being used to steer artificial satellites to new destinations, with far less fuel than anybody had thought possible, to help avoid wear on the wheels of locomotives and other rolling stock, to improve the effectiveness of heart.
pacemakers, to manage forests and fisheries, even to make more efficient dishwashers. But most important of all, it is giving us a deeper vision of the universe in which we live, and of our own pace in it.